what's going on guys I'm looking at my YouTube side and it hasn't started yet on my YouTube side. I always like to mute that as soon as I get on. So it don't have an echo and somebody give me a thumbs up. If you can see me live on that side, there it goes. <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. We're going to say hi to some people. Hi over Chasing America over from uh, Charlie Grace. Thank you guys for coming over. Thank you, Charlie Grace, for the raid. Um, I was on her stream yesterday. I was out working today for the stream. All right, guys, let's say hi to some people. Patty A, first in the house. Yay. Happy Tuesday, everybody. So excited for Les and Bernadette. Les and Bernadette are going to be on screen. They're in the basement. They're patiently waiting for me to say hi to everybody and to talk about some other stuff. And then they're going to come up. So I want you guys to think of your questions that you want to ask them. We're going to get them on screen and have them ask them. You guys are my normal people that are always here following along on the channel. And I'm going to use some of your questions for the tour. So the things that you guys are interested in, I think that a lot of the community would be interested in as well. So um, I'm going to keep an eye and an ear for all of you guys' questions so that it may help me figure out what I'm going to talk to them about on the tour. And Thrifty Angela in the house. Happy Tuesday. Bill Bletcher in the house. Good to see you, my friend. Um, met you last year. Uh I'm not very memorable. You sure are. You sure are. Um, all right. Hope Johnny's well is cleared up. Oh, we'll talk about that in a little bit. You can tell by my expression that it's not. Uh, I'm sure uh, we met, but I met so many people. There was a lot of people there, and we're going to have a good group this year as well. Mona is in the house. Mona just got done doing a cool tour on a conversion van, and she's got a sweet setup. She has got a sweet setup. Um, let's see here. Uh uh, quick, um, I've already posted it. I've pinned it. There's a lot of Patreon members here. They have seen parts of this van build that we're not going to talk about on tonight's show. Um, we're going to save those for the tour. Those were special for the Patreon members um, because we appreciate you. I look at it and sort of think it would be good in my truck with drawers. And that's that, that's that tour that Mona did. Um, let's see here. That tour is doing good too on the channel. That's always good for the view time. I was able to go out, gives a thumbs up and come back in. So evidently with the phone, if you see up in the top corner, there's three dots. Evidently, if you push on those three dots, it will open it up so that you could actually give a thumbs up without leaving and coming back in. Um, I learned that on a different channel earlier this week. Um, <laughs> we don't blab. We just like to gossip on occasion. I don't believe that. Um, all right, let's see here. Diane is in the house. Good to see you, my friend. I hope you are doing well. I nailed it with just one N and an E. Debbie Bam, mum's the word, but have to say it's awesome. That is awesome. Thank you very much for that. Les is saying hi to sis. Elise is in the house. Thanks for coming in. Awesome. Awesome. I can't get over how Johnny always puts that little extra special thing in the builds. That's the best part of being a custom builder. I love incorporating some of the little special items. Bernadette had a really, really cool idea about uh, back in her bed area. They both have twin beds, and she wanted a little nightstand area and a little special area back on her side, and I haven't shown that yet, and it is really cool. It's, it's, they have a huge van, so it was easy to incorporate some of the cooler things into this build. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep saying hi to some people, and then I'm going to share something with you guys about my van. Congratulations, Les and Bernadette. If anyone deserves special, it's Les and Bernadette. Amen to that. Amen to that. Jackie, safe travels. Thank you for listening while you drive. Um, safe travels on those old Freeburg Road roads. 
let's see here. Um, van building out at Fred Rock seems a long time ago. It seems like a long time ago. We moved in June. The end of June, we moved in here. So we, we shall have some kind of celebration in June for sure. And I'm loving the custom handles. Those are super cool. They're really cool. And Atlas, their van that they've got right now, they had to dry some sheets. And I'm telling you what, the little, the little lawn chair clips, hang your blanket up, clip it to those. Works perfect. Floss is in the house. Good to see you, my friend. Thanks for coming in. I'm going to scroll faster and get, get through this. Surf, surfing dodo sand, super cool. Corn dog is in the house. Thank you guys for coming in here. Uh, Jane is in the house. We're going to be talking about Jane's van in just a minute. <laughs> Secrets are hard. Secrets are, I think she said, hard to keep. They are hard to keep. We're going to keep them, though, for a little bit longer, though. Gracie is in the house. Lynn is in the house. Crystal LaGringa is in the house. Crystal, you asked me about a video. Doing a video on my tools for the van. And... I just want you to say, I just want you to know, Les and I, we tweaked our bags today because they wanted to know what they should carry in their van. I inspected their tool bag. We took a couple of notes. We're going to pick up a tool or two and we're going to shoot that video and that's going to be Sunday's video. So if you want to know what all tools I carry in my van, not van building tools, I'm just talking about a tool bag that stays in my van and it never leaves. Um, I'm going to be sharing that with you this week. So that should be a good video. Wondering Meemaw says, mum's the word. All right. Nancy Beer in the house from Dallas. Good to see you, my friend. All right, guys. Mary Jones is in the house. Lorena's in the house. I'm going to say hi to a couple more people. And if I miss you, hello, hello, hello. Kelly will be watching this replay. I got to behave. I got to get through the chat here. Kansas City, Missouri is in the house. That's got to be Diana. Um, could, it might be someone else. Lynn Oakley from Oklahoma in the house. Good to see you, my friend. Mark Wolf in the house. Um, all right, guys, I'm going to scroll fast here. Uh, uh, Lonnie is in the house. Good to see you. Great. Uh, TGIA. Oh, thank God it's Tuesday. I almost didn't get that one. I've got a license plate that some people have trouble getting, but, um, they get it. Most people get it. Yes. Can't wait to see the tool bag choices. There you go. Oh, great. Looking forward to a video on tools for the van. Cool, cool. Teresa's in the house. Good to see you, my friend. Uh, Denise is in the house. Tools would be great. That's one thing the nomads never show or really talk about. We're going to talk about it this week. Me and Les are going to do a video. I'm going to do a video. I think Les might be part of it. You know how he loves being on camera. <laughs> All right, guys. So we're going to talk about Jane's van real quick. We're going to talk about the well real quick. Um, we're going to say thank you to all my Patreons and channel members after that. And then we're going to get Les and Bernadette up here. I don't want you to put your questions for Les and Bernadette in the chat quite yet. But when you do, put like a, a QQQ or a LB, 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 something, something that draws attention that you've got a question. We want to make sure that everybody's questions gets answered. If your question doesn't get answered, ask it again, because the chat will go by fast and I don't want anybody to get missed. I think Les has gotten more comfy on camera. I have more. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm not going to share this with you too much. But we're trying to get him to do something. And he's like, I'm not doing that. And it's like, you rock it out on camera. You got to do it. So we're going to talk him into it. I'm on the phone and tagging everyone next, next to impossible. Next to impossible, no doubt. All right, guys, let's talk about Jane's van. Jane's van is next on the list. It is a Ford Transit Mid-roof, 148 wheelbase. We have got a huge start on it. And you have seen none of it unless you're on Patreon or Facebook. And we have got all the kill mat done, all the insulation done. The ceiling with the puck lights are up. All the wiring is done. 
We put the floor in, the subfloor, and we put the floor in. We've got the, I put the header up today. Actually, I made the header today. It's in the painting department now. And we are putting up her roof rack, roof rack. <laughs> we uh, we took a break today for about an hour to go work outside. And after the stream, I'll probably get back up on the ladder. She got the elite Unaka rack. You guys are going to want to see this after I'm done. It is it is very cool. So um, it if you've ever been to the Unaka website, it is the HS... HDSL or HLSD one, and it is a nice rack, best they make. So, um, it is cool, cool, cool. Kathleen is driving, she's not cooking, um, she can't tag anybody and wants to say hi to everybody. Adele is in the house, good to see you, my friend. Thank you for coming in. So, Jane's, um, the mid roof is um, well underway. And Gracie, do you have a bad signal? <laughs> and um, so pretty soon we're going to start getting a video going on that so she can see it as well. But if you guys follow along on Facebook or Instagram, you saw her ceiling really, really turned out nice. Bernadette is doing the painting and the staining in there, and it looks phenomenal. Golden Oak and um, very, very clean install. Actually, Bernadette, because it's a mid-roof, actually me and Bernadette hung that ceiling and less was the cutter. So turned out fantastic. Um, Mark Wolf, did you get home? We got home today. Mark Wolf did get home. And I will say that he did stop by the shop on the way home. I did get roses and he did get snow the next day at home. <laughs> Ooh, the ceiling is amazing. It really does look amazing. It's golden oak and it's got polyurethane on it. The bottom side, polyurethane, it really is a nice looking ceiling. That is what I have, the transit midroof. I need to redo my ceiling. There you go. Julie Miller is in the house. They are my next build after Jane's and they are going to be coming up this weekend to drop off their van so that we can get started on that as well. So, uh, um, so we're going to have, we're going to have, a uh, just like always a couple projects going on here. I was still waiting for the live to start. What? You know, I come on at eight o'clock central all the time. Mark Wolf, are you in Missouri? He is not in Missouri. He is in New York right now. He is in New York. Guys, the other thing I did today was I put some license plates up on the wall. I got New Mexico on the wall. I got two of them. We have rounded the corner in the shop. I do have some for the bottom row still, but I got sent two New Mexico ones. They were phenomenal. I wanted both of them on the wall. So it is on the wall. Tennessee is on the wall. And my daughter got me a really cool New York taxi one when she was up in New York. That is on the wall as well. So, all right, let's look here. I've been here <laughs> waiting for the live to start. Had to refresh. I'll tell you what, YouTube has been, um, I was in my premiere the other day and I couldn't even talk. I couldn't, it wouldn't let me chat. So, we're bringing you corn dog tag. Hopefully next month it will be South Dakota. If you guys are out there and you've got Maine, if you've got North Dakota, if you have, uh, I think New Hampshire. I got a couple still. I got a couple of states we still need on the wall. So if you represent one of those states, let's get it in route and get it on the wall. Question, question, question. Will you be having a video on Easter Sunday? I will. I will. And I never expect anyone to stop family time ever, ever stop family time to make it to my premiere. If you watch it later that night, the next day, whatever, thumbs up. Now, is it? Oh, Patreon. Patreon, that's the, is that the last one? One. I'll have to check and see if it's Patreon. I do Patreon the first and the third. This might be the fifth Sunday. I don't know if I've got a Patreon this Sunday. It might be next Sunday. Will you take a Canada uh, plate? I will take a Canada plate. I've got Alberta on the wall. I've got, I think, Quebec on the wall. 
if I get a duplicate, it goes on the wall. Uh, if you send me a plate, it goes on the wall. If you send me two identical plates, it does not go on the wall. One of them goes on the wall. Do you have Oklahoma on the wall? I don't think I do. I don't think Oklahoma's on the wall. No, you don't, Johnny. <laughs> no, you don't. What? <laughs> uh, uh, she's probably saying, I'm not sure which one. I was just on the phone with my realtor broker. Ball is rolling. There you go. There you go. All right. Um, let's see here. How's the, Debbie K, how's the fur baby? I will be traveling that day. I get it. There's going to be a lot of people, but I still want to put the video up. Um, and I do believe it's not a Patreon Sunday. I believe that's the next Sunday. I believe there was five Sundays this month. So we will do Patreon. You don't have Patreon this weekend. I don't think so. It'll be the following one. Do you have Rhode Island? Um, I don't think I have Rhode Island either. I've got Connecticut. I feel like I've got Delaware. I don't have West Virginia. I think I've got Virginia. I'll make a list. I'll make a list so that when you guys uh, think of one, I'll know for a fact if I've got it or not. So, all right, guys, let's talk about the meetup real quick. It The meetup, the Johnny's Journey, number three meetup, September 20th, 21st, and 22nd. We will also have a special day for Patreon members. If you're not signed up and um, you want to get signed up, all you got to do is email me, MidwestFanBuilders at gmail.com, and we'll get you uh, set up. It is $60 for the entire meetup. There's a lot of giveaways, and we have got a huge giveaway. It's a giveaway, but I think we're going to do it. The person that's given it to me wants me to do a raffle. Um, and that's going to be exciting, especially when there's like 50 people or 60 people there. You've got high chances of maybe taking home that item. And um, so that's going to be super cool. So Cheryl is in the house. Good to see you. Tim is in the house. Thanks for coming in, Tim. Um, let's see here. Big hello to everyone. I cut my finger and can't tag. What'd you cut your finger for? Oh, man. Now, that's a video I've already done already. I've already done a first aid kit video. <laughs> I didn't sign up yet. Oh, buddy, you are you are signed up and you have a parking spot already. So there's a lot of people signed up. All the electric sites are taken. If for some reason you need to charge a battery one day, we'll get you charged. Um, we are going to make sure you get charged. If you needed a handicap area. You need to get to me ASAP because there's only a few handicap areas. Several of them are gone. Um, we'll have to talk about getting you in a, you know, as close as we can. And we've got a UTV. Mary has already volunteered to drive my UTV this year and pick people up and take them back to their van or back to the river so anyway, September 20th, 21st, 22nd, it's only $60, lots of giveaways, lots of fun. Get signed up if you want, MidwestFanBuilders at gmail.com. I will put that banner up. Send me an email, we'll get you signed up. Once you pay to get signed up, you'll be invited to the Facebook group. If you're not invited to the Facebook group already and you've already paid, it's probably because we're not friends on Facebook. Send me an email. I'll send you a link and we will get you taken care of. Tim, can we decide last minute for the meetup? Not sure at this point. Absolutely. If you show up in your car and you've got your camper behind you, we'll get you a place to park. If one day you need to plug in for a couple hours, we'll get you plugged in. But if you're not sure and you need to decide at the last minute, it's really not that big of an of, of a um problem. We'll get you, we'll get you put up. Love the the UTV. Yay. You can be her co-pilot. <laughs> I only met Tig, but I know I would love all the fur babies. Tig is such a sweetie. There you go. Um, I know they're talking about Deborah. 
I looked up on Hip Camp today to make sure you were back up. I am back up. I am back up. So no need to even discuss that. So let's talk about the well. Let's talk about the campground. When they dug my well, they destroyed my campground. When I say destroyed, it was a muddy mess. The excavator squeezed me in. He got the four campsites. Uh, they got it uh, graded again, and we got rock brought back in. The campsite looks fantastic. We've got many people signed up for the eclipse. And for the days before and the days after, we're already getting bookings for May and June. So I wanted to get that campground up and going. And the excavator has taken good care of me once again. Now, um, the well, a lot of people are asking about the well. The well water is still cloudy. It is still not drinkable. The other day I had to turn it off for the excavators. I had to move the hose so that they could excavate the campground. When I turned it back on, it came out real muddy. And then for a little bit, it came out clear to the point where I was even drinking from the hose. And then <laughs> in, in plenty of time, I was away from my mouth. It turned cloudy again. The well guy reached out again to me uh, yesterday or today and asked me about it. I said it's still cloudy. We are still running it 24-7 and we're not giving up hope yet. It's only been 15 days and it's only been running nonstop for about 10. So we're going to keep on. We're going to keep on praying for clear water. So yay, that campground is up and running. Yep. Yes. Yes. I hip I emailed Hip Camp and immediately, immediately it was fixed. It, uh, once they saw my email. Where are you draining it to? Well, we the other day or yesterday, we watered, we hooked it up to a sprinkler, and we were, I have some grass seed out. So we were watering the grass seed. We if if we turn it on up here at the shop this spigot too much of it drains down into the pond and the pond is cleaner than the uh water up here that was excavated you know the ground was excavated so it's kind of a lot of clay so if you go down to the campground behind the campground there's a really marshy area we're thinking about planting like some um some butterfly flowers some flowers that butterflies use some some plants that love water it's draining back there so yep it is what it is it's gonna get clear we can't give up hope <laughs> we cannot give up hope that's our only option so Stephanie Jones is in the house saying, hey, good to see you. Stephanie, I think Jerry's in the house. I think Elise is in the house. And in just probably a few minutes, we're going to bring Les and Bernadette up. I know that they are patiently, anxiously waiting. <laughs> Plant cattails, they love water and are edible. That was on the list. Uh, Les was talking about some things that we could plant and cattails was on the list. And I think they spread so we are definitely going to do that. And behind all the campsites, we were talking about it tonight, putting some like arborvitae plants back there so that the campers have a nice, you know, have a nice area. I really want the campground to be nice. So anyway, so the campground, the well, uh, the meetup, Jane's van. What else do I got to talk about before I bring Les and Bernadette up on screen? Mo Bang, Maddie is now 11 years old and she is still ready to play ball with you. Aw, uh, Diana, Maddie misses Maddie. Yeah, is Maddie, is Maddie's eyes open over there? Maddie's hiding. Maddie is at the shop with me. She is at the shop with me. A couple of weeping willows would be nice too. We actually are going to plant a weeping willow up by the shop. It's kind of by the shop and by the pond. There's a wet area over there. We were talking about putting a weeping willow there last year. We're going to put a couple weeping willows out, up out here. Lily pads. Lily pads can, I think, take over. I'm not sure if we're going to do lily pads. A lilac tree. Lilac tree. I'll have to write that down. I didn't know that. So, lesson Bernadette, give me the thumbs up 
if you guys are ready to come up on screen, <laughs> I know they're dying to get up here. They're ignoring me. <laughs> are you guys ready to come up, Les and Bernadette? <laughs> there you go. All right, guys, I'm going to bring Les and Bernadette up. You guys put your questions in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll read you guys the questions. Hey. It might be easier. Can you guys hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. On your phones, you'll have to turn the volume all the way down or on one. All right. Don't put weeping willows near a structure. Well, you can't hear me? No. All right, I'll open up the door. I'll talk louder. <laughs> no. Oh yeah, open your door. We're having we're having a volume issue. They can't hear me. Can you guys hear me now if I talk loud? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right, guys. How much solar do you have on the van? Four hundred watt. 400 watts they actually i will go into more detail they have we bought rich solar panels for them but because their van tapers at the top the rich solar panels were too long remember rich solar are long and thin new power or short and fat so they're both 200 watts and well they're shorter and fatter <laughs> so they've got 400 watts of new power solar panels up on their van. Thumbs up from North Dakota. All right, guys. I know you guys got more questions than that. <laughs> kind of like, kind of like me. All right, guys. Tell us why, why we're waiting. I want to know, like on a scale of zero to 10, how hard was it moving? <laughs> Terrible. It was an 11. <laughs> it's the last because he didn't have to put anything away. It's hard, Johnny, when you, you know, you, you have everything in one place and it all fits in a certain size and then you go to a different size. You just have to uh, find new spaces for everything. And it's, I didn't think it was going to be that difficult, but. It is because you only have so many inches to work with. It still right. looks like a bomb went off in here. <laughs> it doesn't. It doesn't. <laughs> um, thanks, Tim. Thank you. Um, so th so I, we've got three Tims in here. <laughs> Time for exploring. Thank you for leaving us running. Don't you have don't don't you have more room? We do. We do, but you know, we've been in Atlas for what three years since November of 20, and um, we picked up a lot of things that we kind of like have here at the shop. We did not expect to be at the shop in the winter time, so we had to rebuy all new winter clothes. So we had to really go through everything again and, and really downsize. It, it was clothes mostly, mostly all the clothes, the extra clothes that we've acquired. Right, right. And um, you, the good thing that we were able to do is we were able to pull their old van in and the new van, and they just <laughs> were able to unload and load. Yep. That made it nice. Okay, they're asking when the reveal is going to be. With the reveal? Right, a couple weeks. Yeah. Yeah, I I, I, I tend to have a, a thing where I kind of stress people out about the tours. And because that's your honest, you know, if, if you're going to have a viral video, it's going to be a tour. And um, so I, I tend to stress people out about them. And Les was not easy to stress out. He was not it, it, like he was not difficult to get stressed out. He's already already stressed out thinking about it. I know. So we'll uh, we'll go easy and and not rush through it. Be a whole lot of B roll stuff. 
someone's asking, um, let's see here. What is your favorite part of the van? And if it's one of the three surprises, don't share it. Okay. Just, just share. Yeah. What, what's yours, Les? I think the lower beds. The height. The height where we don't have to climb over each other. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it would be the shower. I've already taken a shower. It's wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, she's already taken a shower and uh th their beds are am I they're they're uh, 17 and three quarter plus six. So they're really oh, under 30 inches. inches. They're really what? 20 oh yeah. 20 22 or something, right? 23. Yeah, yeah. So a really, really good height. Um now, Les's bed, we actually made it where the back will elevate a little bit. And um, we're still waiting on Les's mattress. That's why they're not sleeping in their van yet. Bernadette got her mattress. Les is still waiting on his. Yeah. Ladies first. <laughs> how long did it take the build? How long did the build take? That's hard to say because we really did a lot of other builds in between. You yeah, know, we it, were finishing up Gracie's, and then we had an unexpected other build that turned into a full build, which was great. And, and partial. And and now and then another one. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe. What do you think, Johnny? A month and a half. Yeah. It All really. Total? If we would have done the hours, I think it would have been like you're you're talking about all three of our hours. You know what I mean? I yeah. think I think it would have been between three and four hundred hours. And I say that because there's so much painting and staining yeah. and sanding and repainting and sanding. Like Bernadette, me and Les knocked the tar out of a couple of walls. It didn't even leave a mark. That's how good it's painted. So um, it's got a lot of paint hours in it. But I would say like as far as our normal builds taking about 300 hours, you know, depending on the size. I would say there's a good 400 hours in that build. And they're right. They're right. They got their van on Good Friday. Gracie, they they came back to the shop. They did their Thinsulate, their kill mat. But then they really stopped because they were helping me with Gracie's van. And they wanted to keep helping me. And so they put theirs to the side. So Gracie came on. Gracie came on on December 18th to get her van. And so we really started working on their van December 18th. Yeah. And their van, their van's been done, pretty much done for about three, two days. We've, we finished up a couple of small things. So, but we've done windows, we've done vent fans. We've done, I've done a full build. We've had some small projects here in between their build. Is your other van sold? No, we haven't even put it on the market yet. We got to clean it up and empty it out. Well, and Sean's going to be staying Sean, in yeah. it. Grandson. Our grandson's going to stay in it for a while while he comes down. Yeah. Yeah, but so we've got... We've got Bernadette's grandson coming down and he's going to stay in that van while he builds out his van in my shop. Question is lesson Bernadette training new shop help for you. <laughs> <laughs> Can't find anyone that good. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, tough, tough <laughs> shoes to fill. I'll tell you. <laughs> yep. All we'll right. be around. Yep. They're going to be around for a while. Hey, Gracie. Thanks. She likes my shirt. <laughs> yep, yeah, that is cool. Do you have hot water on demand or a tank? I have a four-gallon tank. It takes about 10, 12 minutes to warm up. Yeah, it's not on demand. Yep. The good thing is, is it's not propane, and it doesn't take long to heat up. So... It's quite, it's perfect. And you can adjust the temperature however you want it. So are you going to loan or rent your other van to your nephew or other people who want to travel with you? 
<laughs> no, no, we're not going to rent it. We're just going to sell it. And the number one reason for that is insurance plus ins insurance. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Insurance. Number one reason. Bernadette is a master painter stainer. I will second that. I'll tell you what, you talk about Les and Bernadette having to train people. I don't paint vans. Uh, you know, I have never agreed to painting. I did it on, I did some minimal painting on my Michigan build. I don't do painting. I do some polyurethane. So um, she's going to have to teach me how to paint if, if other clients want. <laughs> I tell you, Johnny, I learned so, so much from doing this van. Um, really excited to get into Jane's. Jane, I'm excited to get into your van. It's going to be great. I'm, I'm really actually looking forward to working with some different colors now. <laughs> I'm yeah, done with Lotus yeah. colors. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. All right. Um. I've only used the hot water tank twice since I moved into Fannie Mae. Oh, my goodness. Um, uh, how much? Um, let's see. Are other van for now, this one right here, we'll have you. We'll have you. You can email me at Midwest Van Builders for um, if you want to know how much the van is going to be on the market for. I'm not sure they want to share that publicly. Um, We're not and, even really um, sure yet. Yeah, yeah. Hi, Stephanie. <laughs> there you go. Good to see you. Thanks hey, for Jerry. coming in. Hey, Jerry. Hi, hey, Stephanie. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, <laughs> you better get the paintbrush ready. <laughs> bam, bam. I'll tell you, the thing about painting while you build that really, really makes the difference is, A, everything behind the wall either gets primed or, or uh um polyed just to protect it from the elements um so there's so much that really needs done as you build so i mean every small piece of trim that has gone in the last several builds is painted or, or primed on all sides yeah. so yeah yeah um but i've had i've had you know, heck, all the, almost every van I've had leave here, they've had to paint it once they get it. So um, that's a lot of man hours. It really is. I heat my water in a tea kettle. takes just a few minutes, and I don't have to use AC. Look at her living the van life right. Uh, she knows. She knows you turn that AC on. There goes that battery. Naj is in the house. Good to see you, Naj. Um. All right, we haven't weighed the van. That's what I'm excited for. And um, we're going to do a video, me and Bernadette most likely, on the differences between the ProMaster that they have and the high top. There have been quite a few things on their new van that are different. And yesterday during the move, we found a big one and it's like the the door shelves it's like why would they not you know there's no door shelves so uh we're gonna do that's gonna be another video that's coming up because there's quite a few things that are different um hey guys one of the questions was how is that curtain holding up behind you awesome it's holding up real good how is it? How? What kind of track is that? Oh, I'm not sure the name of it. We bought it from Amazon. Um, it's just plastic. It's, you know, like when you go to a doctor's office and they swing that curtain around. It's just like that. You get them on Amazon. But it's easy, easy. It glides so smooth. Yeah. And I think you might have it listed on if you're if you're looking on Amazon. Now, when I do their tour, it will be in the video. Yeah. It'll be in the video. We're going to link all kinds of stuff in their video in their video that they're using right now. And um, if you look for a shower track, um, it, it's probably going to come up as a shower track or a curtain track. So. 
I know uh, a that track, I think it was the shelf above the bunk. So when I am in bed, I can put my laptop on it to watch TV. Gracie's going to have a full build when she comes back. <laughs> no, <laughs> you better get on the list. <laughs> all right. Um, all right. Good night, Lynn. Any other questions for uh, Lesson Bernadette? Okay. Um, I'm going to say, what was your biggest challenge on your build? I think the refrigerator. Oh. <laughs> that was hard to get all lined up and everything. Yeah. yeah that was squared up. Get it squared the up. The refrigerator was tricky. Yeah. And we have, I've got another build coming up that's got the same refrigerator. And what we decided that we think it's going to be easier is to build the shelf that it's going to sit on and put the walls up after the refrigerator's in yeah. because getting that thing square what in a van like it just you know you can you can put the exact same size braces everywhere you can square them and i don't know what but it was tough semi trucks use a similar curtain track for cab windows yep 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 just yeah my most challenging thing of building this van was getting sleep at night <laughs> because I was up all night long building this thing. And then I'd come in in the morning and say, Hey guys, I was thinking. <laughs> yep. And that was, that was challenging. Bernadette would wake up and she say, Johnny, grab your coffee. <laughs> I'm like, oh no. Johnny, and that's the downfall of having your client here when you build. <laughs> All right. Is your van diesel or gas? It's gas. Gas, yep. Yeah, the ProMaster is gas. So, yeah. yep. And they do have the Webasto heater connected to the gas tank. We did do that. Yep. So... I like, I, I honestly, one of my favorite features that we've kind of, kind of talked about so far is Bernadette's little night, night stand area. That, that little cubby right there is, uh, it's really one of my favorite areas in the van that we have shown, that we have shown to date. So, you see it. Yep. We use those curtain tracks when I was stationed in Germany. I always thought they were great. They are. And her sister sewed those curtains. We Bernadette told her what we needed and she sewed them and, and shipped them to us. Um, yeah. So cool, cool, cool. Yeah, they were actually just regular blackout insulated curtains that we purchased off of Amazon and she just turned them sideways and put hooks and things on them and, and they're they got the blackouts behind them yeah insulated easy easy my gosh easy, I can't believe easy. How easy it went up. all right guys desert deb is in the house somebody say happy birthday to desert deb why you guys are saying, while you guys are saying happy birthday to deb i'm gonna say thank you to all my channel members all my patreons for all your support <laughs> All your extra support here on the channel, if I can find it. guys oh uh oh i lost all my comments all right linda's in the house good to see you friend um everybody saying happy birthday thank you guys for giving her a happy birthday my son turned 24 on the 24th of 2024 so i just i went home and had some birthday cake lemon cupcakes 
lemon cupcakes. I hope that you get great sleep tonight. <laughs> and Maddie and everyone. Bernadette, have you been sleeping better since you're done with the van? <laughs> I have. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I know you are anxiously waiting to sleep on that mattress. <laughs> I know. What, you had those custom made. Do you remember where you got them from? Pardon me? Where you got them? You, oh, the mattresses, they were from um, Custom Mattress Factory. Custom um, Mattress Factory. Yeah, you just, you, great. North Carolina. Yep. I think it's out of North Carolina, yeah. We got that uh, info from Kim and Denise. Oh yeah, That's yeah. Where they the, got their mattresses. The yep. Rotex Zion. Yep. Yeah. Cool, yep. cool. Yep. Yep. Your son had his golden birthday. Yep. I always call it a uh I always call it a platinum birthday. Well, my daughter calls it a platinum birthday because he's 24 on the 24th of the year 2024. <laughs> anybody born anybody born in 2000 um that would be that would be I guess they're platinum. You know, all those babies are going to have platinum birthdays. Oh, is it ever really done? That is no. a good question. <laughs> no. Yeah. I'll share something with you guys real quick. Let's that give Les and Bernadette a half a break. I know I've been talking a lot anyway, but building out their van has probably been the toughest for me because. I've really been thinking about lowering my bed and like doing maybe like two twin beds in the back, kind of like that road truck Zion I did and seeing their build has really, I have never wanted to remodel my van more than I do right now. And because their build is so, there's just so much room and it's not the extra height. It, it is and it isn't because I really don't need that extra height. Kelly doesn't need that extra height. It's the low bed. It's, I, I mean, it's just, it's really an open and I've got the extended too. The big shower, it's not taken up the room that I thought it would because you've got that narrow countertop. I think that narrow countertop. Johnny, that's key. Yep. Yeah. Really, really is key. Yep. Yeah. And that was the one thing that um, we loved about Atlas and we just did it because, well, at the time that's, so, it's, it's all we knew. <laughs> we just did that and, yep. and it gave us so much room we we were we didn't want to give that up because we need the space. I don't we I cooked on night 18 inches for three years. So why take up more space if you don't need to? Right. So we that kept is, the 18. Well, we got 19 now. Yeah. But which is yeah. fine. Yep. Yeah. Celeste says they love their narrow galley too. Celeste, I know that I had a hard time putting your bug screen up. And Les and Bernadette almost beat you. <laughs> oh, they've got the, I, I don't know. We just, we fought with that speaking thing. Um, Anthony <laughs> asked, hey guys, how big is your sink? How big is what? How, how big is your you, sink? Didn't hear. How big is your sink? Oh, oh. it's, um. I think it's a 14, 14 or 15 square yeah yeah the van tour will be in a couple weeks it'll be in a couple weeks probably probably one of the first two either the first or the second video in april in april um is did atlas have a shower no no nope. and when you live in it full time, you want openness. And that's true. Cause I, I mean, I, I never stay in my office anymore. I always stay in the van and, and I love that. I don't, I mean, I stayed in here in the summer and I'll probably do the same thing again, yeah. but, um, cause it's just too hot here, too humid in Missouri. Why, why stay in the van if I've got the office air, but, um, yeah. And, there was another one. Lorena says, dang it, she's driving to Missouri to see this van. 
<laughs> Come on down. <laughs> yep. Yep. All right. Get a dog. No need for a sink. <laughs> <laughs> They'll just lick your dishes clean. Uh-oh. All right, guys. It is 8.50. I don't know. Do you guys have any more questions for Les and Bernadette? I know these guys are. Oh, <laughs> Les loves being on camera. Mm -hmm. Oh, Crystal Lagoon got coffee for the four of you. Oh, uh, we will do that. Les says, Les, Les takes hot chocolate. Let me get, let me. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you. Thank you. Here you go, friend. Here you go. Does Les and Bernadette have a YouTube channel? Nope. <laughs> YouTube channel. Oh no. <laughs> they do a ton of recording for Johnny's Journey, I can tell you yeah, that. That's as far as I'll go. <laughs> they we have, have Instagram. Watched, they have watched me do recording and editing and and they're like, no. Nope. And some of the some of the junk you have to deal with, they're like, no. <laughs> no. They're retired. <laughs> they don't need one. They have Johnny. Yep. Yep. Oh my goodness. I was gonna say something else. Um, why you guys are why we're taking a quick pause on questions. If you guys, I know there's a bunch of people in the chat that that are prayer warriors, and if you've got something that you need prayed for, put it in the chat. And everybody out there, if you guys could pray, the big the I just found out about it a couple of hours ago. That bridge in Baltimore, if you could just pray for those people and um, for their families, that would be awesome. So I started learning Filmora today. Oh no. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It took me a while to learn the editing program that I use. It really did. Sometimes oh, people I want to say something. Can I say something? What? Hey Johnny, oh, before we all sign off, we just want to say thank you to everybody for following along. And uh the tour will be coming out soon. Totally excited to show y'all what Johnny can create from my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, they are on Instagram, and they are. Uh, is it is it Atlas Wandering underscore Atlas twenty one? Say that one more time. Wandering underscore Atlas twenty one. Yep. And Gracie or one of the other moderators, if you want to drop their Instagram link, that would be cool. You guys can follow them on Instagram. Um. Yep. That is, that is. Uh, yeah. We are all so excited to see it. That's right. Looking forward hey, to we're the We're excited to show y'all. Uh, yep. Um, all right, guys. I'll drop you guys down. I know you guys are you guys are up here way longer than what you wanted to already. I appreciate you guys. Thanks, right, Johnny. Thanks. We appreciate yep. you. Thanks, everybody. All right, guys. It was literally like a last minute decision. I was like, you guys want up on camera? And they were like, well, we'll just sit in the office on the bed. I was like, no, 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 that's not the same. Not the same. So, <laughs> oh, they are, they are. I'll tell you guys the, uh, you know, just around the shop so much, um, you know, just them guys moving in and getting that one done. It's a huge, huge accomplishment and um, i'm gonna kick these guys from the studio so they don't they're uh there you go you can have your phone back <laughs> all right so anyway it's super awesome to have those done and jane's already way underway um and another one in route so i'm gonna be doing some wiring uh coming up this week on a cargo trailer and get that one knocked out and we are business is booming here and it's sometimes it's hard to record everything and some people like watching the work some people it's the same old same old um you know a lot of times i'll do the recording i like having the client be able to follow along and there's only so many times you can watch somebody have a floor put in so we actually didn't even record the floor going into Jane's van, mostly because it it we uh we're like, hey, why don't we put the floor in tonight? And it was done. 
We hauled. We hauled. Um, congratulations on the build, Lesson Bernadette. That's right. That's right. Those guys are such troopers. Such troopers. Um, I've been across that bridge so many times, hard to know it's gone. It is. It is. And if uh, one of the things that I was watching earlier, there was people commenting on there that they had just drove across that bridge an hour ago. Somebody said, I just drove across that bridge 30 minutes ago. It's terrible. Terrible. Mind, mind blowing. It is. It is. It is. So, um, let's see here. Anybody, we got about five more minutes. Anybody got any other van build questions or any questions on Jane's van? Um, if not, if not, oh, we'll cut out early. Maybe I can make a shakedown trip to your place and deliver some license plates. Uh oh, what you got for us? Um, lesson Bernadette's Instagram link. Thank you so much for dropping their Instagram link. I would think filming would really slow down the build process. And that is, that is hundred percent true. And then at the, you know, a lot of times we'll work throughout the day and there's so many times I'm editing all Saturday night, Sunday morning to get videos up. I, you know, I'd have two or three of them ready to go. And before you know it, I was editing the same day again. So I think every now and then I think about just doing kind of like a vlog style more, um, it might be easier. Um, the one I did Sunday, it like, it like took off. We got a lot of views on that question, question, question. Why do you guys not use more material in your, more material in your builds? Like cloth, like cloth materials. This one's got this one's got material in it. Um, it's ice cream time. It's not ice cream time because I turned off my refrigerator to shoot that video the other day, and then I left to go home, and then came back. And today, I went last night. I went out to get ice cream, and the refrigerator was still off. All my ice cream was melted. <laughs> it was not a good time. It was not a good time. Um, we should we should go to Sonic. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> oh mercy! All right, guys. All right, guys. Let's cut out. It is nine. It is eight fifty eight here. I appreciate you guys spending your Tuesday night with us. I am gonna tragic. It is tragic. Um. The bummer is I went out there to get less than ice cream and I came back in and I was like, no ice cream, friend. So, yeah, not fun. Not fun. All right, guys. Have a good week. Stay safe out there. We'll see you guys Sunday on the premiere. Happy Easter to everyone. Um, if we don't see you Sunday on the premiere, we'll see you next Tuesday.